Welcome back, everybody. I'm here inside our travel trailer. We have a queen size bed here that folds up. We have a mattress that's about this thick, and we added a topper on it, so now it's a lot more comfortable. And what we do is when we fold this up to go underneath to the storage compartment right here, these struts are here to help assist lifting it and holding it in place. But if I let go, it drops really hard. So we currently use a stick to hold it in place. I want to eliminate this stick. So what I did was I purchased new struts. The ones that come with it are 80 pound struts and these are 150 pound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace them. There's one here and one over here. I'm going to replace them both and then we're going to see how it works. And then I'm going to lay these two side by side so we can look at them and see how I measured to figure out what one I wanted to buy. So before I bring you in closer to this, I want to show you here. Um, there's one of these here and one down there. So you want this bed to be elevated so this strut is extended out all the way. I'll bring you in close here and just show you what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to bring you in closer to show you how I remove this. I use a little screwdriver and pry this out. And then what I'll do is I'll lift the bed slightly and then this will pop out and I'll remove the bottom one. I'll just stick the screwdriver under here. There's a little gap. I'm going to pry this away slightly. Sometimes you can get by just sticking your screwdriver in like that. And I'll hold the bed up slightly. I want to get the pressure off of this strut like that. Pull it away. Now I'm going to have to pry it a little more. That. I'm just going to pry it up out of the way. Like that. Pull that off like that while I'm holding the bed up slightly. Then I'll drop this down and then I'm going to go to the other end of this strut and do the same thing to remove it. So here we are at the other end. I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing down here. There's a chance that this clip was going to fly off, but that's okay. We'll just get it later. So I just put it out of the way there a little bit. It's going to fall and then it comes right off just like that. So uh, before I install the new one, I want to show you something that's different about the new ones I'm installing. So I'm on the other side of the bed. I want to show you on this strut before I remove it, um, how it's made. So you have the, the bigger side here and the smaller side here. So the new one is a little beefier, as you can see here. But in the instructions, it says to install it the opposite way. So you have the big side up here, smaller side down here. So it'll be like that instead. And they say that the reason is, is because you need to have, um, there's a lubricant in here that keeps this shaft lubricated. If it's up like this, it won't lubricate it right. So whatever struts you buy, make sure you read the directions and you'll see um, if they want you to install it this way or the other way. So let's get back to it. So here's a strut that I removed. You can see the numbers here, the LG P8-200-80. I know that 80 stands for the uh, pounds of pressure um, that this uh, the strut can have in force. So um, what I did is I put those numbers in on the internet. I searched and I was able to come up with uh, what, what one it is. And um, then I searched around and I found one that I liked with a good quality. So the 80 stands for the 80 pounds that the strut is rated for. So on the other one, it's 150 pounds. So I don't know what the other numbers mean, but um, if you just punch in those numbers, then you'll come up with something on the internet. And then you'll want to measure from this point from the end right here to the other end right here uh, where the sockets are. And I got... Um, 20 inches on that. Let me confirm that. So yeah, on mine I got 20 inches. So then I just searched on the internet. The new one that came has no numbers on it. It just has uh, some writing. So, um, but the one I bought, I'll make sure I put in the description below uh, the link to this product that I got. So 
laying it here. It's about the same size. It's a little bit different, but it's the same um, stroke here. So we'll be okay on this. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And I want to show you if it shows right in there. There's some lubrication in the socket there. And same on the other side. The, oh, this one has a little bit in there. Not too much. So that's just to lubricate the ball. It also came with these parts that I don't need um, that the struts connect to. So, and it gave you some instructions also. So installing this is really easy. It's, it has a clip here. You can't see it very well, but uh, what you do is I'm gonna lift the bed up slightly and then I'm gonna take this and push it in. And it popped right in place. It's locked in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I had already done down there the other end but um, now I'm going to go and do the other side and then we're going to try this thing out so let's go ahead and lift this thing up and it goes up by itself just like that and I got both of them in place they work pretty good I'm going to pull this down there's a little bit of resistance but that's okay it stays down in place um, and there's a locking mechanism on the side if I want to lock it in place so these were 80 pound and I went with 150 and it worked fine. I probably could have went with a 120, but um, they were out over time. And uh, I like this. It works for me. Won't be using this stick anymore, which is going to be really nice. So I hope this helps you out if you got the same situation. Real easy change out. It took more time recording this and doing the work. If I wasn't recording it, I probably would have had it all done and maybe two, five minutes at the most. So I'll leave a link to the product I use in the description below the video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you do uh, hit subscribe and then the all selection and you'll be notified of future videos. So I make these videos just to help people out. I'm not in it for the money. Um, so I just like showing people how to do things on their own so they don't have to pay for it, a mechanic to do it. So thanks for watching everybody. Take care and happy camping.